Okay, it's starting now. Okay, let's do this. Mario Maker 2, okay. That's cool. It better be a sequel. <laughs> then it'll just be a pool. But like, we all knew something was like this was gonna happen. Mario Maker. I don't really, I'm not too bothered, like, I never really played the original too much. I played it, yeah, but, like, I didn't get too into it because I'm not really, because I didn't really find, ah, thank god, no living deluxe version. I didn't really care too much for the levels. I thought most of them were pretty shitty and, like, don't touch anything kind of things, you know? But it's cool they're doing a sequel. I'll probably buy it and play it for a bit, sure. Shit, there's a 3D world aesthetic? What the hell? How does that work? That's weird. That's cool. This is very weird. I'll buy this, yeah, sure, why not? Luigi. It's now the year of Luigi again. June 2019, okay. Well, I'll get that, yeah. Hi everyone, I'm Yoshiaki Soizumi, and I'll be your guide for today's Nintendo Direct. Thank God. You just got your first look at the brand new sequel to Super Mario Maker, which we're of course calling Super Mario Maker 2. Well that's cool. At least they're not doing a deluxe version. There will be brand new features, and many new elements are in development as we speak. Well, that's cool. So please stay tuned. All right. Next, let's cover today's Nintendo Switch headlines. I like Koizumi. I'm glad he's on. He's doing this one. I like when he does it. Okay, I don't give a shit about this game. I mean, I'm kind of annoyed somewhat that they're making a sequel to Mario Maker because um, I bought two copies of it. But you know what? I don't care anymore. It's okay. It's not too bad. Yeah. It's better at least. At least they're doing a sequel. You know, not a deluxe version. So it's actually worth buying this over the action with a dynamic more. zoomed in heroic camera. And speaking of heroic, it's time to go higher, further. It's kind of funny how these graphics look like better than <laughs> Infinite's graphics or whatever it's called. As characters level up, they'll learn skills you can use on the fly. In Carol Danvers' case, literally. In addition to basic attacks and skills, each hero has an alliance extreme attack, their most powerful move. Whether you join forces with friends locally or online, take teamwork to unprecedented levels as you creatively combine hero skills into synergy attacks. Your most powerful attacks can even be combined into an Ultimate Alliance Extreme Attack. The team up possibilities will be off the charts when Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3 The Black Order launches exclusively on Nintendo Switch cool. this summer. I don't care, but... Welcome back, Box Boy. Cool. Maybe that leak was real. <laughs> the one that talks about Box Boy. <laughs> no. Didn't they say something about Pikmin in that? That'd be cool. I mean, if they announce Pikmin 4, I would literally piss myself. This time, two players can box it up together. I wish they released that. You must work as a team, solve puzzles, and beat those stages. You'll hear it first, guy. After completing the story, you can access a whole separate adventure starring Cutie, the tall one. In all, there are 270 stages to beat. That's the highest in the series to date. Use your brain boxes to think outside the box and lead our heroes to the goal. Box Boy and Box Girl will unload on Nintendo Switch April 26th. Cool. The ultimate spring update. Okay. Now I don't Smash care. Brothers Ultimate is about to spring forward with the version 3.0 update this spring. What are we adding, you ask? Yeah, what are you? 
You'll just have to wait to find out. Oh, that's just great. Why would why would you even tell me that? Joker is a part of Challenger Pack 1. He's secretly been preparing for battle, and his moment will finally come before the end of April. In other words, this year, That's a long time springtime ago. is the time to smash. And don't forget, new Super Smash Bros. series Amiibo figures are on the way too. <laughs> are they literally just gonna like fucking not even mention Joker's gameplay at all? That's great. There's even more okay, to cool. explore in Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. It's never too late for a journey through the maze-like miniature what? world of the Captain Toad Treasure Tracker game. Why are they mentioning this? We have two new announcements for the Nintendo Switch version. After a new update, all courses will support two-player co-op. Right. Maybe Captain Toad won't be so nervous with someone at his side. Two heads are better than Why one. Why don't they update the Wii U version? Goes a long way. This free update will be available later today. And they should update the some Wii U paid version. downloadable content is coming. Oh, yeah. We're adding yeah. in 18 new challenges that'll see you traveling to five new courses. Already paid. From sunken ships. Full price for the fucking Wii Switch version. And Why not spend more money? Objectives you know? in existing courses. Well, that's a lot of bullshit. Captain Toad and Toadette must obtain the shiny crowd in each course, all of which can be played alone or with a second player. How much Captain does it Toad cost? Treasure Tracker special episode will be available for purchase as soon as, well, later today, giving you early access to one of the courses. The rest of the content will launch on March 14th. Right. If you don't have the game yet, look out for a digital bundle available on Nintendo eShop later today. It contains the full game and gives you access to Captain Toad. Then I talk about Mario what is DLC and I literally kill available. myself. Steal yourself for old school action in an all new gothic castle. The side scrolling action of yore shall rise once more in bloodstained ritual of the night. And so, the young lady Miriam, host of the alchemist's curse, must use her unwanted gifts to slay the demons wrought by the curse's original host, Jeebel. With these powers, she can steal the abilities of enemies, bend gravity to her will, and dart about Jeebel's castle at lightning speed. Here, the laws of reality and 2D side-scrollers don't apply. Throughout the castle, a treasure trove of side quests, deadly tasks, and small touches flesh out the campaign. Your body is covered with weird decorations. Beyond the what? main story, you can dig deep into character what customization, subquests, and more. Stop the fall of man at the hands of demons, and don't be afraid to show them your dark side. Bloodstained Ritual of the Night emerges from the shadows this summer. I hope they don't spend like 20 minutes on. The time has come to build a new world and take on the Fire children of Hargon. Yeah. Don't ally yourself with the mysterious Malrock and defend your world from monstrous forces. Enlist villagers to help rebuild and fight alongside you in the story mode. Or unite with three other builders to create your own island in local co-op or online. You'll gather materials, craft objects and tools, and reach new heights by building <sighs> structure you can imagine. Now you can dash. Give me some surprises. Play in first like, person. I don't know. Explore Dragon Quest 9 on 3DS. Oh, and warp switch. all over the new retro-inspired map. If you own the previous game on the Nintendo Switch system, you can craft the legendary builder's outfit and the Dragon Lord's throne. When Dragon Quest Builders 2 launches on Nintendo Switch July 12th. Cool. There are more Nintendo Switch headlines to come, but first, a word from Mr. Koizumi. Well, how's it looking? Next. We have a new announcement for that classic RPG series. Please take a look. What is it? More free? That'd be hilarious. Uh, if it's more. There are RPGs no. Why the hell did they think it was more free? I'm like that fucking stupid. I mean, they just showed Dragon Quest, and that's an RPG. I'm like that fucking stupid. Yeah, I am. They're like, who saw this coming? Like, they were, at least they're bringing this to the West. At least. Yeah. I'm just fucking stupid. I should probably just die. For no one does this ring truer than I was kind of scared that they would announce the more the prophecy says will <laughs> like, I'm scared that they were going to announce it. the world from a terrible land. In an odd twist of fate, the boy's royal birthright is snatched from him. Cool, but like, I have a PC and I can play this anyway, so I don't care. 
he finally discovers his true heritage. I mean, I don't want to play a shitty version of PS4 version. I'd rather when just play the full the version. Of the largest kingdom for guidance. But whatever. He is dumb, dark spawn. So begins the perilous journey of a hunted hero and the ragtag band. It's great for people who want to play RPGs on the go, I guess. Which I do not want to do because Together I'm not playing an RPG with a two-hour time limit. The you know? land, it looks fucking blurry as shit. When you engage them, choose your strategy wisely in turn-based battles. You must know when to attack, when to heal, when to use magic, and when to switch your party members' orders. It looks not that, it doesn't look that bad, really. earn skill points The resolution is low, but it doesn't look that bad. Attacks, spells, and improve their abilities. You can also the graphics are pretty decent. So forge weapons, armor, and accessories. Looking for an item? Oh my god, that looks pretty bad, though. Quests, or try your hand at the casino, or horse racing. Erdrea is full of surprises like these, and this time, the player has the power to choose on the fly between the land's gorgeous HD vistas and the 2D 60 well, that's cool. glory of all. That's cool. This is Isn't that, that that's not on the PC version, version right? With fully I don't know. Field and battle tunes. If you want, it's in the 3DS version. The original sound and the new one whenever you want. And you can also experience the journey with English or Japanese audio. Well, that's a given. What? How do they do that? First-time players and veterans should also look forward to new stories. Each sees one of the main cast members stepping into the spotlight, shedding new light on hidden truths. This hero's adventure has truly leveled up. Dragon Quest XI cool. Echoes of an Elusive Definitive Age. Definitive Edition. Edition. Launching exclusively wow. on Nintendo Switch this fall. While we just announced the addition of these new stories, there will be more new information to share in the future. Please look forward to learning more. <sighs> For now, let's continue with more Nintendo Switch headlines. Cool. That wasn't really a big announcement. Like, what Disney Zoom Zoom game like you've never seen okay, before. Okay, I really don't care about this. These stuffed Disney toys took the world by Why? storm, and now they're ready for an after-hours party at the toy store in Disney Why? Zoom Zoom Festival. Why is this in the direct? Play with your friends and family in a wide variety of competitive about and cooperative this? games that support. I mean, Disney is like the worst company right now. Why would you even feature them? You can play online as well with players from around the world. And you can't mention Disney's Tsum Tsum without talking puzzles. Connect matching Tsum Tsum to clear them and set a high score. The game also features it's a, a fucking player mode for local mobile game on the Switch. Great. More reason to fucking Disney put Tsum Tsum Festival will steal our hearts in 2019. Okay, go get out of that. We're picking up a distress call in the Atlas Star System. But this time, it's far from friendly. In fact, it's none other than Star Wolf's infamous cool. lieutenants, Andrew Oikini, Pigma Dengar, and the Great Leo. It's not like I'm gonna play it. I, I own Happy, this game, but Falco, I haven't played it. And Slippy have no choice but to hunt them down, like the animals they are, in a challenging new series of missions you can only find in the spring update of Star. Well, it's cool. They're adding Atlas. shit to it. Maybe Every it'll give me more of a reason to play it. team has their own special pilot ability and skill tree. Speaking of Star Fox, here's this new Retro Studios game. Also <laughs> missions yeah. from the base game. It's time for a game of seek and destroy, but don't expect Wolf to play fair. Look forward to news on the rest of the additional content, such as starship races and faction missions, so you're ready when the Star Fox team joins the Starlink Battle for Atlas update this April. A heartfelt fantasy adventure crops up once again. Another season, another reason to wield weapons and spells against monsters. Good morning. 
Yay. Grow vegetables and fruits at the farm. Cook some fish. Cook up a storm. Or even raise monsters. This fantastical circle of life will keep you coming back for more in Rune Factory 4 Special, fully remastered cool. for Nintendo Switch. Cool. Cool. Battle alongside townsfolk and before long. Even better, half the game is in English, half the game is in Japanese. I love you. See what the heart I just wanted you to be happy. Has in store for you. Well, she really is a nice lady. New version of the game. Rune Factory oh. 4 Special will be ripe for the playing later this year. Yeah, well, okay. Great. And... And Rune Factory 5. You can Factory. finally confirm that Rune Factory 5 is in development. Great. Look forward to more info in the I'm future. I'm so excited. It's not like I've ever played a game in a series before. Soon, a time will come to slay monsters. <gasps> oh my souls. god. Before those souls become monsters. Dark Souls. In this action RPG from the developers of I Am Setsuna and Lost Sphere. Oh, cool. Step into a realm oh. built upon the tales of games. reincarnation. Its people lead repressed lives, forbidden to mourn the loss of loved ones. To uphold these tenets, Kagachi must travel between the living world and the beyond. So many fucking RPGs! Like, what the hell? Fate, becoming monsters. Uh, a bit right. When battling Stop these creatures, fucking up. the lost souls you've rescued can manifest within you, granting you new powers. Each soul's powers are different, so you must choose the right soul for the situation at hand. In this deep single player campaign, there will be many battles. You will fight, and you will become stronger. Those who fall to grief are lost, and the lost don't reincarnate. The very foundations of reincarnation will begin to crumble. When Oninaki I mean, in summer this is the problem with these directs, is they have so much shit that like, no one cares Art, about. Robots and Yoshis in a world of craft. I mean, we've got everything about this Yoshi's game already. Yoshi's crafted world is almost here. And this time, we'd like to put the many facets of these crafty courses on display. As Yoshi, you'll go rafting. Race solar cars. I mean, they haven't really announced anything so far. Nice shot, Yoshi. Hey, oh, whatever. Huge for a miniature. Even I'm excited this scale, for this game. Yeah. Some challenging bosses to wrangle. Using in-game coins you've racked up, you can collect crafted costumes. If you wear one, it'll offer a bit of protection from enemies. There are more than 180 of these costumes, and some of them can be tricky to get your hands on. Later today, we'll release a demo. Cool. Let's you play That's cool. First course. Well, I'm the best. I'm the best. The game will finally hatch on March 29th. We have more Nintendo Switch headlines coming up, but first, another update from Mr. Koizumi. How's it going so far? Hi. Next, we have a follow-up on the latest installment in one of our long-running series, Fire Emblem Three Houses. Oh, all right. Yeah. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> Galaxy? <laughs> yeah, my ass. I'm gonna. I'm, I'm insane. Like, they'll probably spend like ten minutes in this shit. Oh my! I, I don't know. What could have brought you here? Why are they talking in that kind of weird thing? The continent of Fogland, said to be protected by a revered goddess, has existed since time immemorial. Three ruling powers now control the land. Oh, the internet's just fucked. In the south lies a region long held by a more than 1,000-year-old dynasty, the Adrestian Empire. Beyond its borders, to the frigid north, is the home of the Holy Cuban uh, The problem with these is like... They the spoil way too much. I'm like, I just want to play the game without knowing shit, to the you know? East, a league of it's just annoying. It's no like, why do I have to know all this shit? Why can't I just wait until the game comes out to know it? Once consumed by a tempest of war and turmoil, Fodlan and these three mighty powers now exist in relative harmony. In the Fire Emblem Three Houses game, 
You are the hero the world needs. You start out as a mercenary traveling with a group led by your father, Geralt. After an unexpected incident reveals an unknown power hidden within, you'll travel to Garrick Mock Monastery, where you'll receive an offer to teach at the Officer's Academy. Around that same time, you alone begin to see a mysterious girl named Sothis, who appears within your mind. Garig Mach Monastery lies at the center of three large territories. It is the home base of the Church of Saros, the main religion of Fodlan. If they announce well Pikmin 4, the Knights of Saros. Not only does the church serve to maintain order in Fodlan, its monastery also houses the Officers Academy. Though I wonder Those if who train there will my go leg on to shoulder itching. the future of Fodlan. The Officers Academy is comprised of three houses. The Black Eagles is for students from the Adrestian Empire, including the I do think leader and future they're going to have Edelgard. Nintendo the Blue Pokemon Lions Gen 8 Prince announcement Dimitri very soon. The Holy Kingdom of Fargus as its house leader. This house is for students from Two. his kingdom. The Golden Deer is for students from the Leicester Alliance. Who Their gives house a shit? leader is Claude, who is the heir of the noble family I don't that leads care. the Alliance. Why couldn't you just make this like a separate video so we didn't need As to watch this? As a professor, this? you will lead the students of one of I mean, these houses why? and instruct them. In addition to the house leaders, there are many other students to meet, each with their own unique personalities and skills. Which house will you choose? Neither. Students are expected to travel to various lands sometimes with the Knights of Saros themselves, and gain real battle experience, including everything from defeating bandits to suppressing rebellions. These may be class assignments, but the stakes in each battle are very real. Whether your students live or die will cool. depend on your leadership. Strategize as the battle progresses to claim victory. At the Officer's Academy, your students will work diligently each day so that they may wield a variety of weapons. Master the study of magic. And acquire special skills such as horsemanship. I don't like horses. You have been entrusted with their future, and it's up to you to guide each of them and help them hone their abilities. Through combat experience and study, you can help your students reach their full potential. Right. Your students can also interact with each other at the academy, and by doing so, their bonds will strengthen, and they'll be able to better support each other on the battlefield. They're not going for too long. Yeah, I'm just kidding. Hey, over here. My butt hurts. Forward now. Three territories. Three houses. Your very own journey. I think it's about over now. That's good. Unless they go on for another five minutes. Fire Emblem no, it's over Three now. Houses right. will release on July 26th. Wow, they actually got release day. Wow. That's interesting. Cool. So, how does it look? It looks, um, Originally, we announced that Fire Emblem Three Houses would release this spring. But more development time will be necessary. Right. I don't care. And so the new release date is July 26th. July 25th! That means we'll have to ask you to wait a little longer. But we hope you'll look forward to the next generation of Fire Emblem all the same. Time for some more Nintendo Switch headlines. Cool. In this next entry of this iconic series, what the, the last player standing Tetris. Tetris. 99 Ooh. players. Tetris Battle Royale. But only one reigns supreme. This is Tetris 99. The iconic puzzle game arrives with an online experience like no other. 
Nintendo Switch Online members can battle for dominance in this free-to-download game. If you're attacked with garbage, attack back to defeat the other 98 players and become the sole survivor. Speaking of Nintendo Online, it's fucking garbage. We're gonna remove that. Nintendo Switch Online members, be ready to join the fight. That would be the thing. Tetris 99 will be available I don't for care about today. Tetris. Look forward to battling it out in upcoming online events. I've had enough of Tetris. Prepare to kill, oh survive, or die in Dead by Daylight. Imagine this. You're alone, struck by fear. They have so much filler in this. Then you meet another like, survivor. Who really but cares about late. playing Dead by Daylight on the Switch? You. Now run. Hide. Scavenge for items. Does anyone Open care? the gates and escape with your life. Or take on the role of the killer to make the so-called survivors your next victims. Whoa. Terrifying? Oh yes. Satisfying? Just you wait. With loads of maps, characters, and cosmetics to earn, you'll experience a deep progression system while you're on the hunt or being hunted. Discover the true meaning of horror when Dead by Daylight creeps up on Nintendo Switch this fall. This dog will ruin your day. Did I need to... For a message from the producer of the futuristic cool. mech action game, Damon X Machina. Hello everyone, I'm Kinichiro Tsukura, producer of Damon X Machina, and I have some news for you. Later today, they'll be releasing a demo called Damon X Machina That's cool. Mission on Nintendo eShop for a limited time. The game is still in development, but in the demo you can battle through four different missions. While exploring the basic controls and customization, I mean, this game looks kind of cool, actually. So, you can also experience a boss battle in the final mission. So, please try it out. I'll play it. After when playing I'm the demo, asleep. we'd like to hear your feedback. We'll be conducting well, a short first. online survey by sending an email invite to some players who try out prototype missions. If you weren't selected for the survey, we also welcome your feedback via social media. We appreciate your feedback. Oh, the internet is just going to fucking, the fucking town, isn't it? I hate the internet. We have more to say about Damon X Machina, so please follow the official Nintendo of America Twitter account so you can stay up to date on the latest information. Damon X Machina should be launching this summer. Cool. With that in mind, the development team is working hard right now, so please stay tuned. Well, okay. Realistic racing is headed for Nintendo Switch. Grid Autosport comes fully you know what's realistic? A mix of Me doing a direct without the frame rate fucking up. And a difficulty level that scales to your skills. You'll feel like a pro racer as you master the world's fastest cars to win motorsports most exhilarating races. From the prestigious circuit of Spa Francochamps to the narrow city streets of Barcelona. All DLC is included with 100 cars, 100 circuits, and some welcome additions like motion controls and custom controls. Players can race online or locally, and two players can race split screen on a single system. From street racing to demolition derby, when grid. I mean, I get 12 megabytes. Yeah, it doesn't even get to six. It's just ridiculous. Enter the Viking Age to experience Senua's journey again, or for the very first time. Created never. in collaboration with neuroscientists and people who experience psychosis, Hellblade pulls players deep into the mind of Senua. I thought this, this company got pulled by Microsoft anyway. Spark on a haunting vision quest through Viking Hell to fight for the soul of her dead lover. Hellblade has won multiple awards, including BAFTAs for performance, audio and artistic achievement, 
British Game and Game Beyond Entertainment. Find out why when Hellblade Senua's Sacrifice releases on Nintendo Switch this spring. The Nintendo Switch lineup just keeps getting stronger. Mortal Kombat 11 proves the saga 25 years in the telling is far from over. With all new custom character variations, plus new characters and returning veterans taking up the fight. In a fresh new adventure, Unravel 2 sees players take control of two adorable Yarnies. Control both Yarnies on your own in single player, or play with a friend in local co-op for some puzzling platforming fun when Unravel 2 comes to Nintendo Switch March 22nd. For the first time on Nintendo oh my Switch, God, God experience Assassin's Creed 3 Remastered with revamped gameplay and features tailored to the system like Assassin's most Creed gaming free, touch why? input. Set in the American Revolution, explore one of the most iconic eras in history as you fight for why Assassin's Creed 3? Usher in the rise of a nation. All the original downloadable content, plus the entire standalone game, Assassin's Creed Liberation Remastered, will be included when they launch together on May 21st. Final Fantasy fans, better open your calendars. We're excited to announce that Final Fantasy VII will find its new home on Nintendo Switch March 26th. Great. We can also announce that Chocobo's Mystery Dungeon Everybody will release on March 20th. We're pleased to announce that Final Fantasy IX will journey onto Nintendo Switch later Oh today. my god! Once a classic, Yay. always a classic. That's all for okay. today's Nintendo Switch headlines. How's everything looking? Well, we have a bit more to share in this Nintendo Direct. Please stay with us until the end. Let's take a look, shall we? What the hell is this? Is this the new Retro Studios game? That'd be fun. That'd be fun. That'd be cool. Yeah, this looks not bad. This looks pretty cool. Is this the Monolith Soft game? No, I don't think it is. Because that was supposed to be like really old fashioned and shit. But it is similar, right? So, like, it's a game Monolith would make. Leading all of humanity straight to damnation. Straight to damnation? You're straight to damnation? You don't understand. My heart goes out to you, too. All because of how you were born. Weird. To be used by those idiots until you die. Chained to your fate, powerless. Today has been most revelatory. Finally, we're ready for the final stage. What the, the hell, hell are, are they? they? Why, Why did you make them? Oh. I really hoped you two wouldn't get caught up in all this. So it's a platinum game? I guess. And that's the end of the direct. Yeah, it's fine. Well, that was it. Okay. Oh, it's not. What you just witnessed is Astral Chain, a brand new action game in development. Or it probably is it. I don't fucking know. It looked like two characters were fighting together during battle, didn't it? And usually they just go I hope you're blank. To learn more about how combat will play out in this I don't game. Know. I'm gonna Please go itch tuned. my ass. And speaking of Platinum games, I'm sure you're very curious about Bayonetta 3. Rest assured, the developers of Bayonetta 3 are hard at work, and I hope you're looking forward to learning more. Our next title will be the last announcement of the day. Alright, okay, here we go. Check it out. What could it possibly be? It looks pretty nice. Whatever it is. It's a boat. <gasps> Zelda! 
Link's Awakening? No. 2D Zelda game. Confirmed. That's awesome. That's awesome. See, I knew they were going to go with something. Is this a remake of Link's Awakening? This is a remake of Link's Awakening. Uh, for a second, I thought it was going to be like a new game. I don't know why. It's obviously Link's Awakening. That's awesome. And it's probably going to be on Switch, right? It better be on Switch. Holy motherfucking shit! Wow. This looks pretty good. I mean, I would have rather had the, um... Link to the Wolves design, but... This is cool too. As long as we get the same game controls, you know, as Link to the Wolves. Whoa, 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 whoa. I would have also liked a new actual 2D Zelda game. So, what did you think? At long last, 1993's Game Boy classic, The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening, will find new life on Nintendo Switch. After 26 years, it has been reborn as a new experience. Cool. And we'll have more to say in the future. Please look forward to its release. That's all for today's Nintendo Direct. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks. Well, that was cool. It was very, um, weird, the way they ended that. But whatever. <laughs> they just ended it very quietly. It's like, oh, it's the end. Bye. Usually they go, like, fucking you in the face or something. Uh, okay, that was actually pretty good. Like, I'm, I'm kind of disappointed it wasn't a new Zelda game, but it's still a Zelda game, and it's one I haven't really played much of. You know, it's one I haven't really played on, and I'm sure it's going to be very different to the original. So, it's going to be cool. My only problem is they better not fuck up with the controls. They better not make it like. They better have no grid, is what I'm saying. It better be seamless analog controls, 360, like. If they don't do that, I'm going to be pissed, but... But let's... That was a pretty good... That was okay. 7 out of 10, I give it. Okay. Goodbye. I'll see you some other time when the internet isn't gay.